Mongolian Tourism Association. Good evening, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening. The reality is everybody wants more tourists. You are lucky in one sense, since that you can build a tourism industry pretty much from scratch. Correct. Uh, in tourism, we are always thinking about quality and quantity. In terms of the by number of the tourists, for sure, it has to be support the, the in general infrastructure and amenities for receiving the qualified tourists. But on the other hand, we are looking forward our quality tourism is based on our own identity experience. All right. Define quality tourism, because this usually means high spending Western tourists. High end tourists, correct. High end tourists. Yeah. But uh, high end tourists has to be not only based on the others. So it has to be a mixture of the market segments. Right. So you end up with some gap students because when they get richer later, they'll come back again. That's a strategy that's worked elsewhere. But you need airlift to start with. Sure. You need another, not another carrier, but you need your existing carrier to increase its range and deals. You need hotels. You need infrastructure. Can you do that sustainably? Yeah, the key point is sustainability lift up all these of the needs. So the Mongolia, everybody knows by the main sources from the mining industry. So it's also tourism is seeing diversifying economy in terms of the contributed by the mining industry and other agricultures. And also we have to be special lending program. For example, Mongolian president is announcing to establish new capital city based on the, our traditional Karakorum area. That would be also one of the strategies. The fear is, and I've seen it happen in other developing countries, the rush to tourism means that planning permissions get ignored, sewerage, just build it, put the thing up and, and don't worry about it. I've seen it in other countries again and again and again. That's true. And actually the sustainability for the tourism development requires democratic good governance. If we're going to able to build a politically, economically friendly environment, I, I'm sure for this the market what uh, look, reaching to Mongolia is there. Look, if you want to increase your tourists, it's really, really straightforward. You've got China next door, lower the, the entry, Basically, you could have large numbers of Chinese tourists on tour buses going round and you you'd get your numbers. Yeah, well, this is with the, some regulatory options. What we have is not only the visa free for all of the countries, but also current capacity by the number of the destinations. Give me the top three things that a visitor needs to do. Amenity. Amenity services. No, no. If, I, if I'm visiting, if I'm visiting Mongolia, what are the three places I must go to? What are the three things I must see? You have to go up to the Bayesian and define it is the Karakorum, and Central Mongolia, and West Mongolia, where the nomads are living together with wildlife, and uh, of course the. Gobi is one of the biggest brand of Mongolia, not only tourism and other industries, Kashmir, etc. Kashmir? Yeah, sure. This is a come from the goat and camel. So that's the landscape place of the Gobi descent. I'm being slightly disingenuous here because we're going to be talking about Kashmir in just a minute. The, the significance, it's as if Mongolia has now said we recognize the tourism importance. Would you agree? It is hoping to recognize it by the, our own identity. That's the main advantage for the tourism. Sir, it's been lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Your industry will grow. I've, I've no doubt that the tourism industry... is welcome to Mongolia. And, and in many cases, actually, in many cases, the, the message has to be come to here before it's too late and everybody else gets it. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you. Thank you.